What is going on guys? It is the professional Dillweed here and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be going over uh, what I love about my Yamaha FZ10. So let's get into it. A hmm. There is a, a lot of pollen on this thing and I even park it inside. I wonder if I can... Oh, yes. Should I snort it? Ah, oh, yeah. Nah. That, that, that was good. So my most favorite thing about this bike is the sound that the 998cc cross-plane four-cylinder cranks out. I mean, it's... It's semi-orgasmic, to say the least. And another thing that I love about this bike is the amount of electronics that this thing comes equipped with. Like, the trash tra uh, uh, traction control uh, has three settings. Well, if you really want to get... get into it it has four settings the fourth setting being slow traffic like this guy he, he'll he'll keep you from getting in trouble <laughs> but jokes aside it has three settings the first being the most non-intrusive meaning completely off two in between will keep you from looping back completely and three it, it won't even do, <laughs> let you do a wheelie so yeah, it, it's, it has saved me a few times whenever the uh, w w uh, roads are wet. I was thinking, huh, I wonder how well this is going to work. <laughs> because that, cause that's a great idea, right? I just ripped on it, and then I felt the back wheel spin, and then my tra uh, traction control light decided to light up, and then I felt my bike will, will go from almost sliding out to back up right. So it saved me in that sense. And also, there's been a time where my front wheel has come off the ground, and then it was like, huh, I don't think you want this right now. So it went from being up here, it was like, nah, denied. As well as it also has um, different um, driving modes. Well, it doesn't really increase or decrease horsepower from A mode, B mode, and standard. All it does is um, uh, mess with the throttle response. So like say if you twist the throttle in standard mode, that 20% throttle, that 20% throttle, or the same amount of twist, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but in B mode would be like, I don't know, 50% throttle, so it's it's quite substantial. I've, I tried it out and I was like, you know what? B mode's not for riding around in traffic. All right, so I pulled over here off to the side to show you some physical things that I like. So first off, if you guys didn't see my last video of reasons why I hate it, I didn't quite go over the, how I hate the mirrors because, well, I ordered these. The bar end mirrors I put on Rhino Moto bar ends, so I was able to get these on here. Um, if you want to check uh, check them out, links in the description. They're they're pretty nice. I was like, it took them a while because they weren't in stock. And then I said, hey, do you want to help a guy out and ship me some now? And they were like, yeah, sure, why not? So check them out. Link in the description. Some other thing I didn't include in the last video. Uh, some other things is that I did put on the Yamaha Quick Shifter. Which, I mean, I have gotten questions on that, blah, blah, blah. And the toast, toast exhaust, that's what makes it sound so great. And just the overall design of this bike was just great. I mean, there isn't, I don't know how to say it. Sorry, I'm breathing like a little fat kid because I'm over here talking in a helmet. I mean, even just from this angle... The um the bar end mirrors just make it look a whole lot sportier and not well <laughs> not like that. 
I mean, those were pretty much the exact mirrors that I had on mine, except that's... It says it's a tornado. What, whatever, whatever the hell that is. And, um, another thing is that I, that I really like is the headlights. They, um, I mean, the output that they give is, well, a lot better than most other bikes that I've ridden. I mean, they certainly ain't no, um, dual row LED, like, spotlights that I have on my, um, Z125, but they work quite well. And, uh, while I have it running, if you guys didn't see reasons why I hate my FC-10, here's the little exhaust clip. Yeah, I know that probably, um, sounded a little crackly because, well, my mic is, well, my mic is shit. It, it's, it's definitely a little loud. Because beforehand it sounded like a scooter. Not really a scooter, but just very muffled because it had that big ass tumor sitting under there. Alright, let me get this thing back on the road. What I find really funny about you guys is that, like, whenever I commented saying that I only got 25 miles to the gallon. All of you, like, some of you guys were like, no, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You're a buffoon. And this one guy is like, huh, I smell something. Is it pigs? No. Is it sheep? No. Is it, and he was like, is it bull? Oh, yes. So he's accusing me of bullshit. But, like, why would I lie about how bad of gas mileage my bike gets? It's not a flex. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm gonna flex on you about how bad my... This thing drinks gas. Ah. But nah. I'm currently getting 27 miles to the gallon. And that's because I've been light on it for a little while. And it... And I... I don't know about you guys, but I don't think this lies. I saw it. This guy's license plate says I would rather be diving, like scuba diving, but I thought it said I'd rather be dying, and I'm like, me too, pal. Me too. The thirsty bitch needs her drink. Another piece of technology that this bike has that I failed to mention is cruise control. I've only used it once or twice whenever I was whenever I was taking this up to Tennessee, but it actually helps more than I thought it would. I mean, it's like not like you're really supposed to take your hands off the uh, the handlebars, but you can if you need to. <laughs> All right, it's starting to get a little dark and a little cold, so I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you show some support and drop a like. If you're new around here, be sure you hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, be sure you hit that booty. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.